Oh, hey guys, didn't see you there. Today is going to be all about clothing and fashion. So excited. In this episode, I'm going to show you my little haul that I've gotten from YesStyle. A hundred dollar haul of items that I call summer clothing because the weather has been just so hot in Malaysia. After that, I'm going to do a little spring cleaning for all my clothes because I think you just have to go. Let's start with the haul. Whew. Okay, it just flown from the sky and I've actually opened up and reviewed some of them so it's more like I'm going to show you what I think of it. First thing first, when I think of summer clothing, I think tank tops. So this is the first item I've got. White tank top which is really stretchy apparently. Has the word unlimited. I think it's a pretty cool tagline. And really suitable for a sporty vibe. However, this shirt is too small for me. This is a size XL. Can you imagine? This is an XL. I should have gotten a double XL instead. So yeah, I unfortunately can't wear this so I might probably just give this away to someone or donate it. But if I were to wear this, I think I'll go for a sporty vibe with some shorts and also some uh, trainers. I think that would look pretty, pretty sick. Always be careful when you choose sizes. Better luck next time. To go with that kind of vibe, I was going for this really Korean style black stretchable shorts. Look how comfy that is. So what's different about this is if you can see the bottom of the pants, it kind of flares out almost towards a diagonal. And this is really a new trend I've seen in Korea. And it makes you look pretty hip. Kind of like a, I don't know, young millennial vibe. So if you wear this with uh, oversized tees, I think it makes you look kind of uh, youthful and also hipster. My kind of vibe. So this one fits me exactly. I love this. And the material is actually pretty thick. Really sturdy. The next item, unfortunately, again, I ordered the wrong size. This is a nice light denim short, again, with the flowing out of the diagonal cutting. I'm really going for the style nowadays. And this is a double XL, so this is too big for me. I should have gotten maybe an L or double XL. You can never tell exactly with all of this sizing online. It seems to always be very misleading. If I were to wear this, I think I would pair this with a nice oversized white tee and some white sneakers. You know, that's gonna give it a really nice, kind of airy, clean vibe. Yeah, I, I feel really sad that I can't wear this. It's too big. I probably need to shave off this much since I'm a size 29 on the waist. And this is probably 36. <laughs> the summer heat reminds me of warm colors. So I've gotten this really vibrant, stretchable tee. I really like it. One thing is the material. I'm not sure if you can see up close. It's like a stretchable, shiny material that is really different. It's definitely not cotton. And this one is really wide, so it kind of like widens your shoulders up to here. It falls over. Patterns always make me look more vibrant. So you can wear this again with maybe a black denim jeans or even white pants. Then your shirt will totally stand out. And this white collar separates your neck from the pattern, which I think is a really nice touch. Makes you look younger too. Okay, my last apparel, um, it looks pretty crumpy now. That's because I washed it. So forgive me for that. But this is actually a matching set. A checkered top and checkered pants. So it doesn't look great right now. But let me show you the picture. It looks like this. Check it out. I think it looks pretty metropolitan and totally my vibe. The way it looks is so sleek and very fashionable. I really wanted this so badly. So this is an open collar shirt. You can see the detailing of the collar is kind of like flaring out like this compared to your typical ones. Yeah, I probably need to iron this. So there's actually a reason why I washed it first in advance because again, I ordered the wrong size, a double XL and it was too large for me. It kind of expanded to the, over my shoulders way too much and it was too unflattering. So what did I do? So I dropped this and the pants into a pot of boiling water. Yeah. I'm not kidding guys, I literally boiled a huge pot of water until it like was bubbling and I threw this whole set into the water, kind of stewed it for a few minutes and let it cook, cool and dry it. So what happens is the shirt actually shrank. So right now what you see is the result of it being shrunken. Previously it was larger and now it fits me just nicely on my shoulders. So that's my number one trick. I tend to order larger clothes so that I can shrink it and it fits me, whereas if I order smaller clothes, it's almost impossible to stretch it to my size. So yeah, I can't wait to wear this once I iron it. So now clothing is done. One of the things I've gotten was accessories. My first time ever. You can see here I'm wearing this little rope-like bracelet. And you would think that actually it's made out of a rope kind of fibrous material, but it's actually plastic. 
This is a synthetic material with a metal claps here. I was going for this really tribal vibe to match with the clothing I've gotten. And I kind of like it. It's really simple to match. It's very easy to use. You just coil it up and slip it through your wrist. And there you have it. You can kind of also maybe intertwine it the way you want it or if you want, wear it on your neck because it is long enough. Finally, the last item I've gotten is this little silver necklace. Wow, check it out. Look at that chain, it's really sparkly and kind of the thickness that I want it to. <laughs> if I wasn't wearing this mic, it would look better. But yeah, I think this is something of a cool summer vibe. Yeah, I don't know, probably it's gonna add more swag to my style. All the items I've gotten, I am really excited to wear it, except the two that I can't fit, so that's a pretty big waste. But nevertheless, this is my yes style summer fashion haul. Alright, so now I'm gonna look through my wardrobe and do some spring cleaning because <laughs> so many things here that I want to get rid of and because I have new things coming in, my habit or my pattern only replace items that you are taking out. If I'm going to donate 5 shirts, I'm going to replace it with 5 shirts. If I'm going to give away 2 pants, I'm going to buy back 2 pants. Let's see what I'm going to uncover here. Do I like this? Am I keeping that? First thing I'm going to donate is this little brown tea my sister bought from Bangkok. Rustic look. And I used to like it at first, but then when I wore it, I realized that it's kind of crumply in nature. Not only that, it has bleach stains on it somewhere here. You can't really see. It gives off a very crumply cardboard feel, so I don't really like it that much anymore. Oh, this is nostalgic. Check it out. I bought this little hoodie when I was in Taiwan in 2012. Can you imagine that? And I've only worn it for like one year. This is a one-piece hoodie and this is the hood. Wow, this is so nostalgic. Brings back memory, guys. At the time, I was a huge One Piece fan. I just absolutely loved One Piece so much. I had to get all of their merchandise. So this one, I wore to college all the time and uh, yeah, it helped me through. But nowadays, I don't even wear hoodies anymore. And it's a little bit childish for me now at this age. I'm just going to tuck this away. Oh, okay. So this little t-shirt has a cute dog, Shiba, coming out and the pocket is kind of having this Japanese pattern. I got this shirt as a couple tee and I don't need this anymore. Not only that, the shirt is short. It literally got shorter after I washed it. But yeah, um, I'm not gonna hold on to this anymore. All right, this was a very special piece that I got when I was in Melbourne. This is a brand called Country Road. And this was the very first polo I bought when I was in Melbourne in 2015. I absolutely loved it because the material is so good. I love the shape of the collar. It makes me look very sleek. And the fabric, wow, it's amazing. However, it kind of shrunk over time and I think I got bigger. So I can't wear this that much anymore. And not only that, the material is very wrinkly. Like it's constantly wrinkled. No matter how much you iron it, kind of got fed up with it. Think it deserves a new owner. This shirt, very uh, memorable piece. This is one of the only shirts I bought when I was in Tokyo, Japan, 2014. From Uniqlo and it's still in very good condition, honestly. Wow. I used to wear this all the time for like events. At that time, I didn't realize that Malaysia had this pattern, which is a polka dot in, on navy. But obviously it's everywhere now. At the time, it was fairly new in Malaysia. Again, so it shrunk. It's a size M. I'm probably an L now. Super crumply and wrinkly. But yeah, I will always remember you. Oh man, I have just so many clothes. A rounded mandarin collar shirt from Uniqlo again. I actually really like this shirt. Faded denim, long sleeved, and it's really nice to wear. The only problem is, I have no idea what happened to the shirt. I think it got bleached or something. Do you see the back has gotten faded and kind of like a weird yellow stain? Like, what happened? Not only that, even the front part of the collar, it kind of got discoloration. Looks quite unsightly actually throughout the shirt. I literally have no idea what happened. The shirt is turning to this weird, unpleasant yellow tint. 
I have lots of t-shirts that I always go through. The come and go, this one is the one that I'm gonna part with. Kind of like a middle orange mandarin tea. I have no idea why I bought it because I think it was on impulse. I do not like this shade at all, but I thought I need to spruce up my colors. Look at what it says, so punny. For some reason when I wear it, the fitting doesn't seem that right. And again, as with all my clothes, it's so crumply when I wear it. There's something about the texture and the cotton material, do you see that? I think I've only worn this like 10 times. Probably someone else deserves this better than me. One of the rare colors that I own is purple, particularly in this shade, like a lavender. It's a very nice sweet color. This is a polo from Uniqlo. My sister got from a secondhand bundle shop. So yeah, I rarely go, but she was there and she found it. Initially I wore it, it was quite nice, but again, I have no idea what happened. Do you see this color? There is this strange, bleach discoloration and it turned into a pink. Kind of ruined the whole shirt. Not only that, even the front part of this collar. I think I look good in purple, I rarely wear it and it makes me feel extra special. It's one of those rare shades that guys even wear. Alright, that's all for my little spring cleaning and my mini haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's very different, I've never done this before and it just started raining really loudly outside. That's all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!